so I'm leaving out of Walmart right now, right? Um, I'm gonna let y'all know before I even get into this whole video. Walmart has changed the way you pay, how you pay, we're at in the store. You can use that money to pay and it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. What's up cousins welcome back to the channel so we are about to go let's go into walmart see what the prices look like because i know they're still high see if we can find some bargains in here though and also what the shelves are looking like because what we're not realizing some of us rather not realizing that a lot of farmers are struggling right now with the heat or with the rain and that is going to show later on this year with these shelves with the supply chain so I'm gonna keep an eye on that you're gonna see more store walkthroughs different stores in different areas so I hope you stay tuned and definitely hit that like button so let's go into the store You can still get these packs of tuna right here for a dollar. You can make sandwiches with this. You can even add this to your pasta to make meals with. They have the generic brand down here for 88 cents. Different flavors, ginger sesame, sweet and spicy ranch, tomato basil. So all of the, what looks like Vienna sausages down here are all gone. Up here you have the individual ones for 88 cents. These packs here of six for four dollars and 48 cent or 68 cent. Corned beef hash, generic brand is 288. The armor brand is 248. These are also good meat in the can right here. You can just add eggs to it and it is a good breakfast, lunch, or dinner. 264 can. They have spam, a two pack for $3. And then they have a one for $3.98 right here. So they look like they're out of a lot of pork and beans. All of this is empty here. But they do have larger cans down here for $1.87. Now you still can get the pinto beans and kidney beans for a reasonable price, 86 cents. But as you can see, all of them are gone right here, except for those over there on the end. And then you're missing some down here as well. This is the rice. The large bag is 11.78. The other bags over here are gone, which is something I need to stop back up on. $2.88 for the complete meals. Something else you can add to your stockpile is your vegetables, whether it's frozen or in a can, last you longer. Collard greens, spinach, green beans, etc. These are all $2.84, $2.08, 198 Then they have these small cans right here with peas and carrots for $0.67. Cent. Corn for $0.58. Cent. Small cans of beans for $0.58. Cent meals in a box that you can store for cheap. These hamburger helpers 
are 148 248 for some of them the value sizes are 248 then a lot of their chef ORDs are missing right here they were a, well they are a dollar but you, you can see a lot of them are gone some empty spaces up in here when it comes to the box mac and cheese as well you can get the single boxes for a dollar 24 these down here which are new cheddar and creamy white cheddar for a dollar you can still get um, pasta at a reasonable price you have some for 98 cent dollar 92 um, then bigger boxes like this one right here, you can get four packs of spaghetti noodles here for $3.76. Pasta sauces don't look that bad um, on the shelves, just a couple of gaps here and there. So quickly showing you without getting a copyright, there are some gaps in here when it comes to the ground beef. The beef prices, um, they have these packs here, $11.97 for 12 of these patties, $9.87 for this 2.25 pounds of ground beef, $5.93 for these small ones right here, $20.83 for this 4.5 pounds of ground beef, and then gaps as you can see. These five pounds of tube ground beef is $17.94, and then the three pounds are $14.93, then $4.94 for the one pound. This is what the chicken area, poultry area looks like. Lots of gaps, but they do have some thighs here for $1.77. I think that's for the thighs. And then how much is the wings? how much you're paying $2.98 a pound for the wings canned fruit if you're stocking up on that you can find reasonably priced canned fruit in Aldi um, cheaper than what you're seeing here but they do have some pears in here for under a dollar and fifty cent these are a dollar forty eight for pears Here's the soup aisle over here and the noodles. So we have these individual right here for 30 cents. The 12 pack are 3.68. These are also great comfort snacks to have in your home, pudding, applesauce, etc. that, you know, for yourself or for your grands or for your kids, just to have for moral, mental stability because you're going to be losing it when everything hits the fan and that's when you start craving every single thing so the broths over here have a lot of gaps to them but you can get these right here for like a dollar and 98 cent all of our fatty oils over here you know you need to add that to your stockpile they range in different prices but definitely i'm telling you the olive oil regardless has gone up in price because um weather related incidents have caused it to go up in price not enough is being grown what is being grown is costing farmers more to make sure that it gets out vinegar is running low in here vegetable oil that's in the gallon containers have gone up they are now nine dollars and twelve cents for the vegetable oil for the canola oil they are now nine dollars and ninety eight cents so you might as well say ten dollars for cooking oil by the gallon and then up here you have 45 fluid ounces for three dollars and ninety seven cents all of which are good to be stocking up on I see some empty spaces over here when it comes to pancake mix. This is what flour and sugar area. So here's the sugar. You see some gaps here. 
you got three dollars and fourteen cents for this one plus one pound no four pound eight dollars and seventeen cents and I think this is a ten pound so I'm not buying cereal but I thought I'd come down to Al and just see what it looks like because the price of cereal is really expensive even the generic brands like 347 regular brands 628 that's a lot Pure raw honey is also something that we need to have in our stockpile because not only can you use this in your cooking, you can definitely use this in medicinal uses as well. But just make sure it's pure. Teas and coffee look really stacked and stocked up. So the prices are kind of high on some of this stuff, but you can still find some generic versions of what you may like. Um, that you can get let's go ahead and get stocked up on our cold and flu medications um, the store is kind of weird because we have the food right there and then you got the medicine right here so I just said I'll jump over here as a reminder to stock up on your flu and pain medication as well and they are not cheap but you can get this two pack right here for $12.98 NyQuil's two pack for $16.96. So this is the generic. So I forgot to show you the peanut butter on the owl where the coffee was, but definitely a good source of protein there. So now we're on the water owl and looking up here at the top where the gallon waters are, they are a little low, but they do have a lot of water down at the bottom. Prices for this water has gone up to $5.36. They used to be $4 and something for this 40 pack. And then up here you had the gallon waters for $1.37, but they're all out. Flavored water is also good if you don't like drinking regular water. You see this area is looking very vacant over here with breakfast sausages. And over here we have bacon. You got this pack right here for $9, almost $10 for this thin sliced bacon. What I'm noticing is a lot of these stores have random things placed in certain areas where it's empty, but they don't want it to look empty. This would be one of those. And so while these, you may be like, oh, you don't want to get this stuff. You don't want to not have it and get hangry either. So it's nothing wrong with having snacks in your um, stockpile. I do it all the time. And it definitely comes in handy when the grandkids do come over. I don't have to go special shopping for them when I'm stocked up. But right now I have to get restocked. So this is helping me also to remind me, girl, you got to get restocked up on the things that you don't have in your house. Let's not forget that there is cases of bird flu out there and this might be why there is a spike this is $13 for 60 count of eggs here and seven eight eight for these two pack of 18 36 eggs 788 so yeah bird flu is out there affecting your egg production your chicken production also cows have been di um, diagnosed with having bird flu as well so that's going to affect your milk production. So they look pretty good and stocked up on toilet paper and paper towel. When you're trying to figure out what you want to add to your stockpile, if you don't want to get a lot of different meats and stuff, or you don't eat meats, protein shakes are a great way to supplement that you have 30 grams of protein in here they have different flavors now this is actually an energy one here um, they got a root beer flavor I mean they got so many different flavors out here now they don't just have the um, boring vanilla or strawberry make sure you get enough paper plates spoons forks all those items that you would need 
Ziploc bags to store your items, even to store non-food items that you don't want to get wet in case of flooding or whatever. Trash bags to put your garbage in. I didn't say silverware, cutlery wear, okay? Cleaning supplies, which I'm not gonna go down this aisle, but definitely get your cleaning supplies, your bleach and all of those things, gloves, etc. I love these right here. And of course, if you have pets, making sure that your pet's needs are very well taken care of. As they are a part of your family, you will still have to feed them. You will still have to, you know, get their toys, keep them busy. I'm definitely planning on doing some fishing this fall. It's just too hot to do it right now. I've been wanting to, but I decided I'll wait until I start this whole new adventure. So if you are paying with a card, you can use self-checkout. You can check yourself out um, with the conveyor belts like the one that's right there or the, the usual self-checkout. But if you have a, if you're paying with cash, you gotta stand in these long lines like these lines here with people with all of this stuff. Walmart need to get it together. This is ridiculous. Okay, fam, so I'm about to get off and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know, put down in the comments some of the things that you're stockpiling right now. Give people tips and ideas because it all helps. We wanna help each other as much as possible. There are people who have been doing this way longer than me. So I definitely look forward to seeing the comments in there and how it can help me as well. So I hope this video was helpful and useful. If it was, please hit that like button, share the video out leave comments and turn your notifications on because I do post more than one video a day and also I don't just do prepping videos over here I'm also going to be doing my travel videos over here as well as my second channel is still not monetized and I want to share all that I can with you guys so if you look forward to that subscribe to the channel and I would love to see you down in the comments let me know if you're a new subscriber or not okay I've been getting